When I'm working with two dice, I want to go ahead and start by thinking of that sample space. So the sample space now is going to be made up of pairs. So I'm going to have a number on the blue dice along with a number on the red dice. So if I say I get a one on the blue dice, I could pair that with a one on the red dice. A one on the blue could be paired with a two on the red. A one on the blue could be paired with a three on the red. We could be here a really long time. Instead, I'm going to draw a tree diagram. Let's go ahead and start with the outcomes for that blue dice. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are all of the possible outcomes for that blue dice. Switch over to my red pen. I could follow that one with any number one, two, three, four, five, or six. So the ends of all of these branches give me one possible outcome. Same with the two. I could follow the two with, on the red, a one, two, three, four, five, six. Same with the, I think I'm missing one. Same with a three on the blue. It could be with any of the numbers on the red, a four, a five, or a six. We end up with six in each of these groupings. So we get six, six times. So the number in the sample space when we roll two dice, let me put it up here. The number in my sample space, well, I've got two events. The number in the first event, which is rolling the blue dice, there are six of those. I multiply that by the numbers that I can get rolling the second dice, the red guy, which is a six. Six times six is 36. 36 possible outcomes. This is going to be our denominator. Now let's do some examples. Okay, so the first example I want to do, number one, let's do the probability of getting, um, let's get two threes. So I want to get a three paired with a three. It's going to show up in this branching over here. One, two, three. That's this guy, I promise that's a three right there. That's this guy right here. There's only one way to roll double threes. So I can go ahead and write this as I'd want favorable or over total. This is my favorable. There's only one way to do that. My total is this 36. So it's going to be one out of 36. Okay, number two. Now let's do the probability of rolling doubles. Doubles. Okay, well, there's lots of doubles, right? I could roll. I could roll double ones. I could roll double twos. I could roll double, double threes. That's a lot to say. And so on. There are six doubles, as a matter of fact, out of 36 possible pairs. And I can reduce that guy down to one over 36. Okay, now let's do a sum, number three. Let's do the probability that the sum of the two, die, two dice is equal to three. Okay, so what are the possibilities here? So I've got a blue dice and a red dice. So I could take these two and on the blue dice, if I were to roll a one, I could pair that with a two. One plus two is three. There's one possible pair. Or I could get a two on the blue dice, pair that with a one on the red, and that would be a three as well. So that gives me one, two, possible pairs. So that would be a one with a two, a one with a two, or a two with a one, if you can even read that. So there are two possible pairs. Favorable over total, two over 36. And that reduces down to one over 18. Okay, so let me clear this and I want to do another sum that's got a lot more possibilities. So let me go ahead and clear this. Okay, so now we're going to do another sum. I'm going to do the probability that the sum on the two dice is equal to six. Well, I've got my red and my blue here. So let me just kind of separate this out so that we get a chart. So let's say that we have on the red, let's start with a one. Well, that would need a five because one plus five is equal to six. Okay, and I can do a two on the red. I'm just going to do this systematically. And that would pair not with a three, but with a, that's supposed to be a four. Two plus four is six. Um, a three would pair with a three. 
a four would pair with a two. Now I'm just reversing the ones that I had before. And a five would pair with a one. There's nothing that I could pair a six with. So I've got one, I've got one, two, three, four, five different pairs. So my answer then is five out of 36. Okay, let's do another one. Just one more and then I think you guys will have it. So if we do one more and I'm gonna go ahead and use this same chart here. This time let's do the probability that the sum is equal to seven. So if I do the probability that the sum is equal to seven, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with one. One would pair with a six. Two would pair with a five. Three would pair with a four. Four plus three is seven. Five plus two is seven. And then finally, six plus one is seven. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different possibilities, six over 36. And that reduces down really nicely to one over six. If this was helpful, please click like. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments by leaving those down below. And let me know if there's any other videos that you'd love to see. Thanks so much for watching.